Hey guys, just a reminder that the 500 subscriber giveaway is still going on. You can win one of these hats. <laughs> you can't win my dog. You can win one of these hats <laughs> or uh, or a air filter for your vehicle. So, but a stock filter. Stop it. <laughs> Doesn't like when I'm talking to make believe people. Or a stock air filter for your vehicle. I like the hats, but hey, it's up to you. The question was, what was the brand of my first vehicle? What was the brand of my first vehicle? That's all you need to do. You have to be subscribed and answer correctly. The first one to do it, I'll send this to you minus the dog hair. Thanks, guys. Hey, what's up, guys? So we're back with the video. Today is kind of an exciting day. We're taking uh, this, the 2010 F350 V10, 6.8 liter gas guzzling pig to get some new rubbers on her. So right now it has General Grabber X3s, 35, 12 and a half, 18s. And I've been so impressed with these tires, guys. These tires have like eight, between 80 and 90,000 kilometers on them. And there honestly is still a lot of tread left on these back two tires. I actually just rotated these not too long ago. The front two tires are pretty chewed up, which I'll show you in a second. But uh, my guys had this truck up in New Brunswick for like a week. And the four-wheel drive was not working. I told them that the front hubs have to be locked because the actuator is gone. So the front hubs have to, have to be locked in manual in order for it to be in four wheel drive. But apparently they forgot about that. And um, instead of using four wheel drive to get into some sites, they just decided to spin the crap where the tires getting up into the sites. And they chewed them up pretty good. So like I said, General Grabber X3s, um, the price was pretty good. I was looking at KO2s at the time. But the price was pretty good on these guys. And I've been super impressed. I plow snow with this truck. I tow with this truck. I put a lot of highway miles on this truck. So there's the back two tires. Here's the front two. So like if it was summertime or spring, I would run them for a while, you know, especially the back ones. But you know, it's, it's coming on winter here. And we had this truck up in New Brunswick uh, a couple weeks ago and we ran into some snow and it wasn't the best but they are great in the snow when it's when uh, when they're fresh but anyway we're gonna jump in the truck we'll go on the drive I'll talk a little bit on the drive and uh, we'll see what we're gonna get next alright guys so we are on the road and it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't have the Sun completely beating in my face for some reason it seems like the sun is always in my face during my videos. Sorry for that. But, anywho, we are going to get some new rubber on this truck today. The uh, guy who typically uses this truck, he's off this week, so it's a good time to take, take care of that. So like I said, General Grabber X3s. Um, these tires, like I said, have between 80 and 90,000 kilometers. This truck drives a lot. It makes a lot of trips to, to New Brunswick, Cape Breton, PEI, all over Nova Scotia. So it's, you know, typically on a Monday morning, it will be going four and a half to five hours to New Brunswick. And then Friday, it's making that same trip back. And then the winter time, I'm plowing snow and I use this truck as well for emergency response during power outages. And again, we go all over the place. So this truck gets a lot of miles on it in a hurry. I actually um, just had to put a a uh, like fuel pump actuator, not fuel pump actuator, but gas tank actuator, uh, solenoid. It's not actually, geez, what am I saying? Solenoid in the top of the of the fuel tank that like controls the the ventilation when you're when you're in, when you're putting fuel in the truck. That was all messed up, so in order to fill the truck, you'd be there for a long time because you'd, you'd squeeze the nozzle for five, 10 seconds, and then it would start gurgling, and you'd have to stop and wait. So I had that done at, my, at the local shop where I where I get oil changes and stuff when I, when I don't have time to do it myself. 
and they changed the oil in this truck like a month and a half ago and they uh, they called me when they had the truck and they said hey you know you realize you're like way over your your fuel mileage you've put like 15 over 15,000 kilometers on this truck since in the last month and a half since we changed the oil and I said yeah no no it's all good I changed it in my uh, I changed it in my yard you know like two weeks ago or, or something like that so this truck gets used a lot so when I say 80 to 90 thousand kilometers I could look back through my records because I do keep track of all that stuff when I put these tires on and I could tell you the exact number but I know it's between 80 and 90 thousand no doubt Probably, could be more now I know 80 90 thousand kilometers so you know what's that like 50 55 55,000 miles something like that that's not like crazy it's not it's good it's definitely good especially for you know a three-quarter ton truck but you know someone just driving down the highway or, or, or putting back and forth to work you can get that no problem but keep in mind like I said this truck plows snow it's towing the trailer all the time the dump trailer um, you know during during storms it's chewing its way in, in through roads so they've done well and I mean they're incredibly quiet like they're honestly quieter than my KO2s like if I had these tires on my on my 250 because that that truck has like no road noise at all this truck you know it's a 2009 so it does have some road noise you hear some wind you know you do hear the fire I mean the the soundproofing material is nowhere near as good as it is in the in the, in the new truck with the 250 they're really quiet it handles fantastic obviously when they're brand new they have a they have quite a lug on them so you know you can get that little bit um, back and forth I felt it more in this truck than I did on my Tundra because I had these same tires on my Tundra but it's it's they're a really good tire I'm really impressed with them but did I end up getting another set because I do like to try different things like the KO2s on my 250 did great but I'm not going back with with them because I want to try something different they've done pretty good too but I'm really impressed with these tires anyone in the market at all for you know a mud tire an aggressive tire but also a tire that's good in the snow because these tires are incredible in the snow as well. I've, I've been able to plow, I was able to plow way more snow last year with this truck than I've ever been able to. Check these tires out. Check them out, you will not regret it, I promise you. But anyway, for now, I'm gonna shut this video off because I'm, I'm sick and tired of the sun beating in my face and trying to talk and you probably can't even see me right now. Not that, that, not that, that that's a bad thing, but anyway. I'm going to uh, go get these tires taken off, get the new rubber put on, and I'll uh, show you what they are. And we'll do the drive home and, you know, do a sound comparison and feel and all that sort of stuff. So, stay tuned. Alright guys, so there's the two on the back. I keep them, use one for a spare, and not sure what the other one's going to be, but we got the new tires on. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. General Grabber X3s. <laughs> of course I went back with these guys. They were incredible. Look how deep this lug is on these. Like, it is unbelievable. They were so great, I couldn't do anything but put another set of these on this truck. Of course, the lighting has to be terrible every time I do something. So, there they are. They're aired up a bit too much right now for my liking. The, uh, the guy just put what says on the side of the door. So I'm going to be airing them down a little bit because that's the way I like to do it. I want to get better wear out of them. And they are a bit smoother and obviously more grippy. So let's go for a little trip on the highway here to go home, back home. All right guys, so we're on the road. We have our new set of General Grabber X3s on the truck. Like I said, I had to go back with these tires on this truck. I do like to try different things, but 
You know, this is a, an absolute work truck, 100% through and through. And those tires were incredible in every circumstance that I put them in. Plowing snow, you know, tons of highway driving, towing. They're just great. They lasted great. You know, 80 to 90,000 kilometers on a set of tires is doing what I'm doing is incredible. You can see how deep the lug is. They're a great looking tire. I have these on my Tundra. And you know, I have the Tundra sort of blacked out and they look fantastic on the Tundra. I have a buddy who has a, he has a Jeep Rubicon Black Ops Edition and he has them on his. And he did a lot of research before he bought his and he absolutely loves them. I've never punctured one. Um, you know, no issues with them whatsoever. Going out of balance or nothing. They're a great tire, I absolutely swear by them. That's why I went and did another set of these on. It's incredibly windy today, and like I said, this truck does allow quite a bit of road noise in. But the tires themselves are very quiet. There's a very slight hum, like hardly none at all, to be honest with you. They're very, very quiet. They handle great. You know, I actually said on the way here that when they're new, they do wander a little bit, but not really. Like. Yeah, sure, they're, you know, they are a big lug tire. And there is a bit of play, you know, in the steering wheel. You're gonna get that with any tire that has that much lug on it. But it doesn't wander over the road. It doesn't catch ruts. Um, just super, super, super impressed with the tires. Obviously, you know, I'll be making some videos with this truck, you know, plowing snow getting into some areas you know when we're doing generator de deployment and stuff like that towing trailers because we're always towing trailers during snowstorms and windstorms and stuff and um, you know I'll make lots of videos I'll keep you updated along the way but you know it really was a no-brainer I know it's maybe not exciting but if you're checking on this you're probably clicking on this to see you know how they do they're not as well known of a tire yet as some other tires out there but i think it's only a matter of time because they're absolutely incredible sorry right, guys thanks for watching stay tuned um have another video coming out with some new tires on my 2017 f250 got bfg ko2s on there right now swapping them out and i will tell you i'm getting something different on them falcon wild peak uh toyo open country at2 extremes you know who the hell knows right but stay tuned and uh, you'll find out. All right, guys, take care. Have a good day. Later.